has really uh, gone, gone to a level which is almost nothing over the last couple of years. But obviously after having spent an hour with President Barack Obama, uh, she was determined to come out and stress that both the Americans and her were pretty much on the same page in terms of policy. There had been some complaints in the weeks running up to this that the Americans had been over optimistic in their treatment of Myanmar, that they got carried away by this uh, reform process, and that they should have been a little bit tougher and kept some of their leverage. But what we saw at that press conference was uh, a lot of very public affection being shown between President Obama and Ms. Suu Kyi. They, they hugged, they kissed, they walked off arm in hand. They were clearly trying to get the very visual message across that they were still working very much together to deliver change here. What would Aung San Suu Kyi like specifically from the US? Is that clear? Well, I think what she would like is that they, they would take a slightly tougher, tougher approach. And I think she will have been saying that to President Obama. She feels that they uh, lifted uh, the, the trade restrictions, the sanctions which they had in place too quickly. There are still a few in place, but for the most part, the Americans have lifted those measures. She would like some of them to have been kept in place so that more leverage could be exerted now. Effectively, President Obama is trying to encourage, he's offering a carrot, if you like, to the Burmese, saying, we will work with you, we will support you if you go further down this road of reform. But the reality about the reform process here is that it's reached a certain point where the army has to start conceding if political reforms are going to concede. At the moment, the army can veto any changes to the constitution. It can, tr can control 25% of the seats in parliament automatically. It can stop the clause being changed, which at the moment prevents Aung San Suu Kyi from becoming president.